Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Life Uncommon. My name is Andrea. And I'm Alita, and we are excited to have you with us for today's show. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's been a busy day, a busy yes, morning. Has. Yes. So trying to shift yes. gears and get ready for Life Uncommon. Yes. Yes. And so um, also I have to say right up front that I have children at home and I'm also watching my niece today. So we may, you know, you may hear children <laughs> in the background <laughs> because I've said that they need to be quiet, but you know how children are. So they may not be able to be quiet for too long. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. They're usually pretty good though. Yeah. 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 So. Hopefully nothing breaks and everybody's fine. Exactly. And there's no blood and, and we'll be good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I um, we will be having a special guest with us today. Um, we had featured her already. Um, it was last year. It was last was year. Last year? Yeah. 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 So, um, and she has made some changes since then and, since we're celebrating Women's, Women's Month, Month. Yeah. also and Child Stimulation Month, um, we thought it was great to hear from her and the different changes that has taken place. Yeah. And, you know, regrettably, this month has been um, anything but celebration of women <laughs> and children. Yes, yes. Somebody told me yesterday, we need a do-over. We need to give them another month just to do all the stuff because it has been truly... Um, oh, just so much yeah. heartache, lots yeah. of bloodshed, so much grief, yeah. hurt, yeah. a lot and, of pain. Yes. Yeah. 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 But we're excited to have um, our guest with us mm -hmm. today. Did you already say her name? Yes. Lorcia. Lorcia. Yes. yes. Well, it is in the post. So no. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to add her somehow to this. All right, so Uno, okay. bear with us while yeah. we get started. So if you're just tuning in, say, hey, we would love to hear from you. So Yeah, me... I can see we've got a few people with us, but it would be good if you would say hi. I can see that Let's Gallardo and, um, oh, I've got a friend watching Columba. Yeah, good. I'm so glad to see all of you guys. So I'll okay. be trying out some new things today too, where I get to say stuff like, let me see if that shows. See. Awesome, I love technology. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yay, Yay so see. good job. <laughs> so if you're watching, please share this video. Oh, look, it's scroll. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting good at this. <laughs> well, I had a little time to play around yeah, today. Yeah, so Andrea's producing the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's one. Awesome. And then there's another one here. Okay. Let's see how that works. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I'm trying to get my guess here. So, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, take that off. I don't know how to take that off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it all figured yeah. out. I'm there sure. we go. Yes. Okay. Um, here's my guess. Okay, hold on, peoples. I'm trying to get my guess here. Well, it's so exciting to be featuring a female entrepreneur during Women's Month. And um, I, we had a great discussion with her last time, but yes. I know we're going to learn some more about what she's up to and, and um, some things maybe that she's learned or mm -hmm. maybe she's got some, some words to share with others. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to our yeah. time together today. All right, so we have, let's see who, who all is here. If you're here, say hey, we want to hear from you today. We'd love to hear your comments. And if you have questions for our guests, um, feel free to do that as well. All right, um, bear with us while we try to get her on here today. Okay. All right. So, let 
me um, get this up. Let's start, let's do that. Um, that's our guest that will be joining yeah. us in just a little bit. Does she need an invitation or did she get one already? I already gave her one, okay. so let's see. Good. Okay, I can see that up on the screen. Hold on, guys. We're going to be right back. We can't take commercials. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she needs to refresh. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies, and I hope there's no gent yet. No, it's all ladies so far. <laughs> Sorry to have you all waiting. We're just having a little bit of difficulty trying to get um, All right, let me, okay. There we go. <laughs> if, now if we could figure this out. Uh... All right, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, and so now we're going to have um, Lauricia. Okay, so uh, let's see how that works, okay? Hold on a second. Hi, Lorcia. Can you hear us? Hi. Hi, Hi there. Okay. Just give me a second. Let me find you. Um, let me show you, get you on the screen here. I don't know why um, it won't give us more. Like, you see that? It's, oh, oh because, it lets you show the picture. Oh, yes. That's but I need to move on. the picture because, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I need to get that picture down. There we go. And, wait. Let's see. 
Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, I always say technology is great when it works. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lorcia, it's so good to see you. Thank you for good joining you us. Too. All right, can you hear us well? Yes, I can. Can you guys hear me well? Yes. yes. I yes. put the phone a little bit closer. Yeah. And if our viewers who are watching can comment and let us know if you're hearing Lorcia well, that would be awesome because... We are hearing her well, but we don't know if you're hearing her well. Yeah. All right. So everybody, like we were saying before, um, Laura said joined us. She was with us already, so she's not a stranger to life uncommon. And um, since you've last been with us, a lot has happened, and you've been blossoming. I see. I see your business has a lot of recognition lately, and so we're so happy to. Um, to hear about all the stuff that's been going on. So maybe that's where we could start. Tell us a little bit about um, your business for those who are watching for the first time. Uh huh. Okay. Hi, everyone. So I'm Lercia Moore, the owner of Naturally Belize Coconut Products. And what I do is make handmade coconut oil. And I kind of transform that into hair and skin care products. Um, my motto at Naturally Belize is um, healing from the outside in. So I believe that all women should love the skin that they're in. And it's never too late to start taking care of your skin. Um, where I am right now, I'm full. I'm full-time entrepreneur. Okay. So I'm going strong. Um, thank you ladies for inviting me. Um, I know right now I'm kind of the the hot topic on social media on facebook yes <laughs> so um i was so proud to be featured as the u.s embassy um young belizean entrepreneur yes um, yeah and also um it's for the month and this month is women month so i'm so happy to be um kind of the woman entrepreneur for the month yeah I'm excited for you too. Um, yes. So let us backtrack a little bit and tell us uh, maybe what caused you to make the jump into going full time. Because when we talked with you, you were juggling yeah. work and doing this on the side. So what made you decide to jump fully um, into it? So I've always worked full time and um, I've always put all my energy into um, building other organizations. Uh -huh. so, um, I was doing this part time up to the last show, but I saw the potential for my business and I knew that with my passion and drive for it, I could actually um, build it to where I want it to be. Yeah, uh, it was yeah. very hard to leave that secure space and I bet. Um, enter into something that's um, not secure. However, I do love what I do, and um, I know that with my drive, I can um, build my business. Yeah, yeah. So I'm out in the I'm outside um, in my yard. I have a little display here. Okay. Product. So when you're ready to discuss that, I'll just turn the camera. Awesome. Around. <laughs> All right. So, well, um, so how long has it been since you jumped into it? I'm not sure if I missed that if, when you said so, it. Re very recently. It, it was like the first week of February. Uh -huh. I recently took the jump oh wow okay yeah. well that is that's exciting so you're in the exciting yeah. and also scary phase yeah. at this the transformation point. phase <laughs> yeah okay well let us walk through that and see um show us some of the stuff that you have and um yeah nobody knows your business better than you so <laughs> okay so i'm gonna turn the camera around all right Okay. Nice. So nice up there. Very nice. Up to the last show, I had my famous coco shea, this one here. Yes, we got to try yes. that. I love that. Yes. And I had the coco tea, this one here. Okay. Uh -huh. Notice the labels have improved. Have changed. Yeah. So um, now I have a face mask known as Belizean Earth Angels face mask. 
And it's okay. made from organic shea butter along with infused lemongrass mm -hmm. and aloe vera gel. Oh, nice. I also have, I also have um, this product called Coco Mint. And uh -huh. it's made from the handmade coconut oil along with peppermint essential oil. Oh. And what these products does it moisturizes your skin it nourishes your skin rejuvenates your um hair follicles um i also have pure coconut oil pure virgin coconut oil okay as well that i sell in a bottle for people who like to experiment and do their own mm -hmm. hair therapies yeah okay so um yeah i i'm actually working on uh coconut soap at the moment Ooh, that oh, that's wow. good. I can <laughs> hardly so yeah. I'm really expanding. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let me well, see. You have to keep expanding, I mean, because <laughs> you take you took this big jump. Yeah. So um I want to welcome those people who are tuning in for the first time, everybody. This is our um first time actually. With having, um, a guest. with having a guest, and we are excited that it's Orsia who yeah. is with us, and that it's working. Yes, and we yeah. figured it finally. <laughs> so um, we just have the best viewers. So Anna Banner, guy, she's watching. Hey, ladies, good to see you all in action. And Glendy Guzman is also watching. And I'm not sure. Do you know the others? Uh, well, these are the last. Yeah, these are the ones that commented. Right. So. If you are watching the show and you want to say hi to um, Lauricia or you have a question for her, feel free to comment below and we'll be reading those for her. All right, ladies. So thank you all for joining. Now, Lauricia, you mentioned um, a product that you um, just did too. So, was it pep It had peppermint, peppermint oil in it. I was going to ask the same question. Is that one for hair and skin or? Um, yeah. Yeah, so um, basically most of my products, because it's so natural and it's all natural ingredients, it can be used for your hair and your skin. I have two hair oil. I have the, the cocoa tea, and that <laughs> one is made from handmade virgin coconut oil along with the tea tree essential oil. So right. now what that one targets is dry, dry scalp, dry skin. Uh -huh. and, um, now I have the cocoa mint, and that's a virgin coconut oil along with peppermint essential oil and peppermint essential oil is really good for um to promote hair growth oh okay. hair follicles so and what the coconut oil does it moisturizes your hair it nourishes your hair and your skin so that's really yeah, good I, and i bet the the one with the peppermint in it i bet it smells wonderful <laughs> They have, and with the combination of the coconut oil, it balances out, so you have that really nice tropical scent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so tell us, uh, you mentioned, too, that you're working on a soap. Tell us a little bit about that and what inspired you to make that one. Okay. My inspiration for the soap is, um, well, I'm kind of taking this in a different direction. Um, I know sometimes when you take a bath, you only think about that physical cleanse. Uh -huh. I'm going more for a, a spiritual and a um, physical cleanse. The ingredients in the soap, it has um, sage, um, oh. which in the ancient time, it was used to kind of cleanse your, you know, that, that aura. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I also have lemongrass infused in it to kind of bring it that, kind of bring in that positive energy. Yeah. So, I'm going a little in a little different direction, kind of healing physically as well as spiritually. Yeah. Well, you know, it sounds like everything is is all natural. And if I were to read the labels, I'm I'm sure I'd be able to pronounce everything that's yes, on you the would. list. <laughs> and you would actually know them as well because they're um, locally sourced. Uh huh. So I only have one here in Body Butter. It's a cocoa shea that I import the. Um, shea butter. Okay. So, okay. And everything else is here. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I saw that you had, was it face mask? Yes. As I have um, an earth angel face mask. Yeah. Please, I was just about yeah, to say, go back and show you. us. Okay. 
earth angel face mask okay let's yeah and you. this one is made from organic shea butter it has infused lemongrass vitamin e and aloe vera gel and what it does it gives a gentle exfoliation it okay. rejuvenates your skin and firm firm your skin so and how often would you use that what do you recommend okay i recommend using it twice a week uh-huh Mm -hmm. And how you would apply it, you apply a little over the face and you would use, after 15 to 20 minutes, you use a warm cloth Okay. to clean it off and also that will open up your, your pores. Yeah. yeah. Exfoliation. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. That sounds like a really wonderful way to take care of yourself. And yeah. also, I mean, if you've got to leave it on you know, 15, 20 minutes, you can put your feet up and really yeah. relax and enjoy that time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's a comment here for you, Lorisia, um, from Anna Banner Guy. She says, congratulations to Lorisia. She is an awesome entrepreneur who manages to bring the best of her business to the surface. Her products are natural and goes along with what we are all looking for, trendy and smart. Exactly. So, Thank you for that Anna. comment, Miss Anna. Hello, this guy. <laughs> yes. So I'm, I'm super excited. I really like the direction where you're yeah. taking your business. And um, I think that you are just hitting the tip of the iceberg. There is so yeah. much more. I'm sure as you go along, you will, um, you know, come up with more. You'll be expanding your line of products. And um, it's amazing because I think a lot of times we have all these resources at our fingertips, but mm -hmm. we don't use them. Yes. And to see somebody like yourself using them and making all these amazing things. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think it makes such a difference that this is something you're so passionate about because um, from what I remember about you, the coconut oil has been in your family or a part of your family for a long time, right? Yeah. So my grandmother, jo Miss Josephine Ely, she's still in Placencia, living in Placencia. Okay. She's 87 years old right now. She made coconut oil from the age of 30. Oh. And, um, yeah, she did this while she was um, disabled. She got disabled and she just ended up doing coconut oil. I believe her. it was already in the family. Her mother taught her, but she never thought of doing it until she got into that tragic accident and was forced to um, try to make a living. So yeah. my grandmother was so incredible. She hawked her own coconut. She grated her own coconut. She did the whole process. So she's my main inspiration for going into venturing into this business. Okay. Oh, great. All right. Um, so Anna is asking um, Lauricia if... Um, there is a price yet on the soap and um, when will it be available and where? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, the price for the soap is um, $8 Belize, very affordable. Definitely, yes. The um, process for the soap usually takes um, four to six weeks for it to cure and bring it to the natural state. Okay. So I do have... Um, a huge batch curing right now because I will be at the National Agriculture Showground. Okay, oh, great. So Excellent. Yes. However, um, my products are, the products that um, are available right now are at um, First Choice Variety Gift Shop. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, in Belmont. Yeah, so Belmont. as soon as I get this soap out, that would be the first store that it would be. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I, I have to clear something up now then because I heard soak and soap and somebody said soap. So can you make a soap too then? <laughs> <laughs> no. I was all excited. You were excited there about because, soak. <laughs> no, I was envisioning myself in my bathtub in this soap that yes. I was like, oh man, that sounds so divine. <laughs> Add one of the oils to your bath, and that would be a soak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So um, I also I was peeking at the little piece that was written up by the U.S. Embassy when they um you know featured you as the the Belizean entrepreneur for this month, 
and they've said that you're also enrolled in the Women Innovate Innovators Network in the Caribbean Acceleration Program. So tell us how that has been for you. So it has been really inspiring. Um, it's a group of eight women, including me, and they're from various backgrounds from um, the country of Belize. And what we do, we get together, we discuss, and we build on our weaknesses, and we also inspire each other. So I can say that they have been part of the reason that I've um, carried on um, in my path because I was the only person pursuing my business part-time and with such strong women, support from such strong women, mm -hmm. I kind of learned to flow on my own. So they have impacted me so much as well. I'm so excited to hear that. Yes, that's very exciting. So it's a group that, um, it's like a support network? Yeah, so it's, um actually something like a course because we're, we're actually oh, gonna okay. be certified um at the end of june okay we'll be cert certified as entrepreneurs um you know in the caribbean oh great so we learn a lot it's just like we're, we're in a classroom setting but we also support each other as women Nice. That's exciting. That's exciting. I think that is so powerful to have women supporting one another and to be learning from other um, entrepreneurs and, and hearing their experiences as well. That must really be um, helpful for you. It's very empowering. Yes. Yeah. And that's what we need. Like last week we were talking about how women need to be, um, to champion, champion each other, each other. Yeah. you know, instead of, um, what was it, comparing, comparing ourselves to what other yeah. people are doing. That's so how do you, how do you keep yourself focused, um, Lauricia? Because I'm sure you'll have people like myself who will say, why you don't make this, why you don't make that, and why you don't do this, why you don't do that. But what is it, what are some things that you do personally that um, helps you to stay focused because I'm sure you have a vision um, for where you want your business to go. Okay, I stay focused because I love coconut oil. I'm always open to feedback like from individuals like yourself, Andrea, as long as it has to do with coconut oil. Uh -huh. so sometimes, you know, I get such good ideas and feedbacks from customers. And I would jot that down and, you know, in the future. So then I would go right back to, you know, making that product. So um, mm -hmm. from the moment I established my business, I kind of focus it to be a coconut oil based yeah. business. So I wouldn't um, venture into anything other than coconut oil. So okay. feedbacks are always welcome from customers. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's great. So, what would you, what would you um, recommend if if somebody else wants to take a jump, take that leap like you did, to becoming a full time entrepreneur instead of having it be like this thing you're doing on the side? What what advice do you have for other people? Um, I would definitely tell other women out there to go for it if you have that love, that drive that gut feeling, that inner creativity that needs to come out, mm -hmm. go for it. Yeah. 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 Once you believe and you're ready to put hard work behind that, yeah. you will achieve it. Yeah. yeah. That's powerful. Was that something that, that came easy to you? You know, that I know the passion you have for, for the coconut oil is there, but um, for owning your own business, was, was that passion always there? Yes, that passion was always there. I've always um, wanted to, to um, you know, pursue. I, I, from the, I remember from high school, I knew that I wanted to be a businesswoman. Oh, I did business wow. high school. I did it in um, junior college. But um, it wasn't until, you know, I was more older that I actually knew exactly where to focus that energy. Yeah. yeah. And, and I noticed, too, that you studied a lot of business in school uh -huh. as well because you knew exactly where you wanted to go. So you were equipping yourself yeah. um, long before you actually jumped out, right? 
Yes, and as woman, I believe that is a part of her journey because, you know, I could never say I, you know, would have a, a, maybe achieved being an entrepreneur, but that was my journey. Like, it was kind of being craft for me. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess one I, I had to share, too, about when you were on the show, you left us, um, I think it was the cocoa shake uh-huh. and the coconut oil. And I've been the cocoa tea. The yeah. Cocoa tea. Yeah. Yes. And I've been using those in my daughter's hair a lot because you know she had just transitioned. Because I think that was one of the questions about me, is it for only natural hair? And so she had just transitioned from natural and was um texturizing her hair. And so I started to use that on her and she had really dry scalp as well. So I use both of them sometimes at the same time. <laughs> yes. And, um, I would rub it into her scalp and everything, and then we would roll her hair for the uh-huh. night. And when she went back to the salon, they were telling me, like, you know, her hair is really strong, it's growing, it's not falling out, and they were really impressed. And I and I knew it had to do with using those things. So yeah. I want to encourage yeah. our viewers, if they haven't tried it yet, they need to try it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, it's a product that I use regularly. I don't, I don't buy anything from the store anymore. I've just been faithfully using your products, and I really, I love, I love the way they work, and and I love being able to support a Belizean business yes. as well. Yeah, really it is. So I'll be needing to get more soon. So I'll have to head. But you said first Agreed. choice. Yeah. Yes, I have it now available at a woman-owned business first choice variety gift shop it's on um blue kick street yes in belmopan okay and then agric is coming soon and so we'll also be able to make purchases there yeah you can also contact me too miss um miss sharp i can okay um, (laughs) also i'm starting to do um marking market days i will be tomorrow i'll be at market day doing okay and that's here in belmopan something that i do plan to do every Tuesday and Friday. So for all those who love Market Day, like myself, I'll yep. be out there promoting. Great. So where else around Belize are you? You're not. I know you're not just in 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 Belmopan. Where where else are the products available? Okay, I have in Belize City at Now and Forever store, and that's um, downtown Albert Street. It's right next to Brodis. Okay. I also have um, in Hopkins at Lovely in Pink. I have in Placencia, Treasure Box, and um, the Placencia Pharmacy. And I even have down south, Punta Gorda, um, at um, RJV's De- Creative Design and Bacajama's Restaurant. And up north at Mama Lowe's. So I've been really spreading out. Yeah. Yes, you have. Yeah. Well, you have definitely made the jump then, if you, <laughs> because I mean, from Belize all the way down to PG. Yeah. Your products are available. Yeah. That is exciting. We're excited for you. So yeah. I'm just showing um, on the screen for those who are tuning in. Um, I'm showing pictures of um, some of the products that Lorisia was just showing us. And this this picture that I have up right now um, was at the twenty thousand women's uh, event that they had, and so you've been pretty busy. So, and I know with Agric coming up, you have to work extra hard to get enough, you know, for uh, the whole time. So I really hope that people will come out and support you and to try your products. Um, I feel like Belizeans tend to be a bit hesitant. You know, um, when it comes to trying out a, a product from the lesions here. And so I hope that people will um, definitely give you a shot and try out the products because they're really good. Very <laughs> good. Thank very you. Good. And I've, I've had always gotten um, very good support from people around the Belmopan area. So I have to say um, thanks to everyone because I started out in Belmopan and because of the support, I was able to actually branch off. So thanks to all the Belmopan people that's listening right now and watching. Yeah, excellent. So um, I I wanted again for you to just um, 
maybe share your Facebook page and um, and we'll be putting the link to below this. Yeah. But um, tell us how people can reach you uh, because, yes, they are around the country. But if people would like to contact you directly, maybe you could share that. Okay. So I have a Facebook page, um, Naturally Believes Coconut Product. You can check that out. You can inbox me. Um, I also have an Instagram account, Naturally Believes Coconut. Mm. And my phone number is 604-5302. So you could contact me personally. I'm always here willing to give information on my product. And um, if you have any um, areas that you, you need help with, skin or um, hair issues, contact me and I'll give you good recommendation. Oh, that, that's great. So what, what are some of your favorite products? What do, what do you enjoy using or, or you use everything? <laughs> well, I have access to everything. So I do, <laughs> but the main product that um, I use is the Coco Shea and the Coco Tea. I uh -huh. use both of them um, in my hair and on my skin and also my children. That's what we use. We um, kind of let go of um, most of our chemical products. And that's what I use on a daily basis. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, just before I leave a little tip, I know the Easter is right around the corner. It's very hot. Mm. I'm outside and it's really hot. We're all going to be in um, the sun. Yeah. Uh, get sunburn so coconut oil is a great sunburn reliever mm -hmm. so what you do after you get sunburn you would rinse off um cool your body down and you'd add the coconut oil on your skin you could use a pure oil or an infused oil okay and you use that daily until your your sunburn has been relieved i didn't oh, know that so thanks for sharing yes, that with that's us that's a great tip you're welcome yeah, thank so Lorcia, thank you so much for um joining us today for thank sharing with so us um, all of the amazing products and we're excited about the soap coming up and all the different things and i will be looking for you at the agri show for sure and yes. when i go to market days as well <laughs> i have to give you a shout definitely, out definitely thank you ladies well, we wish you all the best, and when you get all big and famous, remember. Who. Yeah, remember. Has <laughs> it done? Of course, I will. <laughs> you, you ladies are already big already, so you're remembering. Me, so. Congratulations <laughs> again yes, to you. We are so excited for all the amazing things that's happening. I think it's well deserved. Yes. And um, we wish you all the very best. All the best. All Thank the best. You. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Okay, so let me see. All mm -hmm. right. So, um, bye, Lorcia. Bye. <laughs> uh, ladies, uh, I think, well, I don't know if there's any gentlemen, but. <laughs> we are still all ladies. Okay, yeah. I don't want to offend the man, yeah. but if you're watching. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, we do not want to hesitate ever to, you know, big up the ladies yeah. and those who are stepping out. And um, if you were tuning in from last week, you would remember about us sharing, not last week, last year, about taking that jump and yes. doing the well, thing. We spent a whole month talking about yes, jumping. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm so excited that that's something that Lorcia chose to do. You know, she mm -hmm. has an incredible product and she has the passion and the drive yeah. Um, and so I hope that if there's somebody else out there, you know, that, that you've got an idea for a product or you've got something already and, mm -hmm. and you've kind of been hesitating, you know, yeah. take that leap, yeah. make that jump, go get out there and just go for yeah. it. Yeah, I you know, I, I, I kind of did that. Well, I guess I really did do that when I when I decided I wanted my own place on the Web, you know, for my blog, I had on Blogspot for years and years and years. And I finally decided, you know, it's time for AlitaSharp.com. Yeah. And so when I made that jump, you know, it, it really was important to me to have my own space yeah. on the web because I've got all my products there and my blog is there and, and I know it's my space. And yeah. so I know there are other women out there, whether you write or paint or um, have, a, have a product or, or want to start a business, go for it. Yeah. Don't let anything hold you back. Yeah. And I must say there are lots of different initiatives and programs yeah. that already exist 
that will help women who want to get jump started yeah you know so take advantage of that especially in women's month you you hear yes. of a lot more opportunities for women and i remember when we just started um divas and then we went to life on common mm -hmm. anna um banner guy was one of the first women entrepreneurs that we invited yes. onto the show yeah. and she's pretty much self-made too she built her way up mm -hmm. and she's not really much into doing her own business anymore but she is working hard in helping other young people yes. who are coming yes. up to yeah. get started and all the good stuff that she's doing there there with um Bebukan active youth so yeah yeah. yeah, I know she's involved in mentoring other youth, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, she's quite active in the community. So we'll have to have her come yes, on, join us, yes, um, to talk about all this, the latest that they're dealing with there. And if you if you're watching and you have an idea or a, not an idea, but you have a business that you're starting up and you would like to talk to us about it. Send us an email, and who knows yeah. you? We may be able to feature you as well, yeah. since we got this thing kind of <laughs> figured out. I mean, all right. Yeah, and I know last week we um, showed off Andrea's devotional, yes. Words Unfolded, and I hope you got a copy. If you haven't gotten a copy, you do need to contact her so you can get yours. So, what was that like for you, Andrea? For for you to make that leap into becoming an author? It was scary. Yeah, I have to say. <laughs> It was very scary for me um, because um, when you write, unless it's fiction, mm -hmm. you're pretty much bearing your soul mm -hmm. or, or thoughts that you don't necessarily put out there. And so writing it was um, a challenge because I didn't want to really put stuff down on paper. And then when I put it on paper, I was fine with just leaving it on paper. <laughs> it's like, and then I said, I'm going to do an ebook because if I do an ebook, it will get lost on the internet. Nobody oh. will ever find it. But I could say I have an ebook. Yeah. And um, then I, when everybody was asking for a print, I was like, oh my goodness, print. So I did the print. And I didn't expect the response that I got from people that wanted a copy, wanted a copy. But then when I decided to jump even farther and order a whole lot more, yeah. that was scary because I'm like, well, what if they don't want it anymore? Right, right. Or what if the first people that got hated it, I haven't heard from anybody, <laughs> nobody's telling me that they like it. Um, that started to, you know, yeah, get me to scare me. Yeah. yeah. But the scariest part I find now is approaching people. Yeah. And asking people, would you like to buy a copy? Yeah. That's a scary part for yeah. me. Yeah. But um, jumping is scary because there's a lot of unknowns. Mm -hmm. Like I I face so many different challenges trying to create an ebook because I, yeah. I didn't pay somebody to do it. I, I had to try to figure it out on my own. So that was a real good learning experience, yes. though, because, yeah, you had to teach yourself yes. and then rely yes. on a few other people. Yeah. That ask questions yeah. yeah and so it was very hard for me and i wanted to give up at certain points and even with getting the printing i thought i could just send it anyway in a pdf and they would print it and they're like you need to send it in the yeah. size and all of that and i was like what i don't know how to do that <laughs> so i had to really figure out and work at it it's hard work you yeah. know yes um people could look at it and say oh it's short and it's small but it, it's it was a lot of work that went into the final yeah problem, so yeah well, it's a, it's a beautiful devotional. And like I said, if you have not gotten your copy yet of Words Unfolded by Andrea Rodriguez, you need to get your copy because it is a beautiful book. And like she said, you know, it's it's one where she opens, she put herself on the page, you know, with the very first one, right? The, yeah, I don't want to tell all the tell titles and everything, but it, that one's Light My Fire. Uh -huh. Yeah. So from the very beginning, she's putting herself out there on the pages. And, you know, it, it's been such a blessing to me. And I know from other people that have read it, it's it's helped them too. So please get your copy. Thank you, Alida. <laughs> so when I hear Alida say, get to know copy. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to wrap up today. Um, next week. Alida will be in a different part of the world. Yes, right? well, I'll be in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Really mm -hmm. excited about that. Going to visit my in-laws for Easter, but we will still be doing the show because yes, I'll be able to broadcast from there. Yes, the show will continue. The show will go on. Yes. 
Yeah, and I think, um, did we decide on the topic for next week? No, no? I don't think so. Did we? Well, we kind of yes. talked about, yes. yeah. Is I it didn't know. Trauma? It's trauma. trauma, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> So um, we will be talking about childhood trauma yeah. and the effects that that has on children yeah. and even adults. Um, right? yes. yes. Yeah, exactly. Because there are trauma that happens when you're a child that you carry mm -hmm. on into your adulthood. Yeah. So, and I think it's very uh, relevant topic, especially in light of all that's been taking place. Yeah. Um, a good topic to to dive into. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. So be sure to join us next week. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us. And um, please, I, I would encourage everybody to to purchase the Naturally Belize coconut products. Yes. You know, find, find if you're at Market Day or wherever it is in your country, get with the Facebook yeah. page. Yeah. yeah, I will be po I will be posting the link to her page right below on the comment thread so that you can find her page if you haven't found it already but show her some love show her some support yeah. um let's champion each other as ladies all right so we're out of here yeah thanks for being with us yes. we will see you all next week live from two different parts of the world <laughs> all right bye everybody and have a very safe and wonderful weekend bye <laughs>